Hi my loves, it's Alicia. It has been a minute since we've talked and I just wanted to get on here and catch up with you guys and let you know how I've been doing lately with my fixed bridges. I think I've had them now for, it's been at least six months, maybe like seven months and let me just go ahead and show them to you up close. So this is a Zirconia Roundhouse fully fixed cemented bridge top and bottom on mini dental implants done by Dr. Todd Shatkin and I have 12 mini implants on the top and six on the bottom so I'll briefly show you for anyone new here or if this is the first video you're seeing on my channel hello welcome to the family um, I will show you my snap indentures just for reference of what this looks like and how it works okay so these were my snap-ins these are removable these are not these are acrylic these are porcelain. So before with the snap-ins, I had six mini implants in the top. They snapped into the metal housings that have rubber O-rings in them and that's what secures them with four on the bottom. And when I upgraded to the non-removable, I got some more implants added. So now I have 12 mini implants in the top, 10 on the bottom. And I'm gonna show you these up close just so you can see how they look. So it's a um, zirconia roundhouse, what it's made out of. And then it's painted pink and white porcelain for the gums. So they build up the gums like you know, where you need facial support, that's with the zirconia. It's really fascinating. I call it my face implant, <laughs> but I really love these teeth. They're beautiful and this is how they look. So nothing's covering the roof of my mouth. And one of the most common questions that I've been getting lately is does food get underneath them? Can you feel food get underneath them? No, the only thing that I've ever had happen is a little thin popcorn kernel or something can get stuck like right on the edge. And when that happens, that's why you need a water pick. So I wanted to introduce this to you and show you how to use a water pick in case no one told you, cause I didn't know it made a big mess the first time. And there's often very simple like solutions for these things. When you get your water pick and you have a bridge, you don't wanna turn it on until it's in your mouth. You also wanna make sure you close your mouth, your lips around it. So I'm gonna point, I would point this. It goes like up at the very top to flush out the gums and then it's like pressured water. It's gonna blast it out and clean it. All right, ready? Okay, I don't usually swallow it, but it wasn't dirty because I just brushed my teeth. So anyway, um, usually we just spit it out. Um, <laughs> whatever, so that's how you use it. It's got three different settings. And if you use my code, I can give you, I'll give you the website down below where you can go check out um, Dr. Todd's stuff that he makes. He makes this whole kit electric toothbrush, which is what they recommend. So when you're brushing these, you wanna be doing it very gently. These have a few different settings for cleaning, um, sensitive and massage. And so you don't wanna like really grind on your teeth. You're just gonna turn it on and let it glide and very gently just clean them with the electric toothbrush. I love it. So this is the dental cleaning. This is what I have. And the one on the website might be a little different, but this one has both. And I think on the website that you have to order, it's two separate things. I don't, I don't know. But my code is Princess Glitterhead. That will save you quite a bit when you add one of these to your cart. Um, and then, fun fact, if anyone here has natural teeth, or even if you have veneers, so, or, um, like if you have crowns that have gotten really stained over time, but if you have natural teeth that are relatively healthy and you're looking to whiten them, Dr. Todd also makes a really, really cool whitening kit. So I wanna show you this too. And I will show you this because this is also on the website, the I Smile Spas. My code is Princess Glitterhead for the discount. This is what it looks like. This is also what they give the patients who go into the office to have the whitening done in the office. This is the take home kit. And it looks like this. It's really cool. I'm gonna have to make some videos demoing this. So um, you can use this on anything. You can, um, like it's safe for any dental appliances that you might have. And if you do have veneers, um, because it only wraps around the front of your tooth, the sides of it and the bottom, if you whiten your teeth and whiten the behind the veneer, it's gonna shine through the veneer and it will actually brighten it up too. So you get everything in here that you need. There's like a protective type 
of gel that you put on your gums and lips to protect them. And then you get one of these little pens, you paint your teeth with it. And then we have this is the case. And let me show you this guy because it literally looks like it's a smiling person. It reminds me of my merch. So we're just gonna plug this in really quick. You can plug it into any phone. And then after you paint your teeth, <laughs> I think it's incredibly cool. Like I love it. I never would have been able to use this with my natural teeth. They were just, you know, falling apart. Like it would have been pointless. Um, but I'm going to be using this for these to keep them super nice and bright and white. And I've heard from many other people that have crowns and everything that this actually brightens them up too. So I cannot wait to try it. And Josh has crowns. He's got a couple older ones left. So we're going to try this out on him too and see if we can just get all brightened up. But anyway, so aside from all that now, um, what should we talk about today? I guess I'll just update you on where I've been. So I'm trying to shift my gears so that I can start posting over here more regularly. So I plan to start giving you guys more regular content. Sometimes it does take a push. I feel like TikTok has taken a lot of my time and energy this past year. It's brought with it some blessings. It's also brought with it some curses. And right now my freaking account is suspended. It's not banned. It just says suspended, 2.8 million followers. I have an active subscription program. So people had like paid to sign up and watch the supporter only lives over there. We are really enjoying it per society. And then I just get logged out and can't log in. So now I don't have access to it and it's been over a week. We've been reporting it like crazy. I'm sure they'll give it back eventually. It's just gonna make me shift how I do things because I just don't wanna waste my time on that app anymore. And I would like to give content places that people can replay it and still access it later, which is why I'm so grateful for this channel. I'm so grateful that I documented my whole journey here. You can go right back to the beginning and see every video that I've ever done about my teeth, like from before I even had them fixed. You can see even my demeanor, the way I was expressing myself, so much has changed and I do, it's unfortunate that sometimes I feel like we have to be broken down to a certain point where we finally are just gonna reclaim our power and our worth again. Like sometimes you just have to get sick of it. You gotta get sick of how it feels and you gotta be empowered in that, knowing that it's not gonna be perfect, it's gonna be hard. This was the hardest thing I've ever done. Uh, and that's because mentally and anxiety wise and even pain wise, like I was not asleep when I had my surgeries done. They can give you, they can sedate you. It's like a thousand dollars more. It's just that I don't really respond that well to it. And now that I've done it awake with the nitrous, I'd almost rather just stay awake, I guess, because I've done it already. But it's also that much more important that you find a dentist you can really, really trust. So my dentist, Dr. Todd Shatkin, he does free consultations. I will put the numbers to call in the link that you can use down below if you want to sign up. And so his main office is in Buffalo, New York. That's where he sees patients um, most regularly, but then he also sees patients like once a month in Scottsdale, Arizona. And you can do a, a virtual Zoom consultation. I've never heard of a dentist doing that. It's really cool. Also, there is a, another website you can use to locate a mini dental implant dentist near you. And they're from the Mini Dental Implant Centers of America, which is the organization my dentist kind of works with. So it's like a network of dentists who have trained with him and by him and use his methods and tools and all the same things he does. Um, so you'd be able to find somebody within that system and network that does the same exact thing because Dr. Todd is the one that owns the patent to a lot of these things. It is his practice and he's the mastermind behind the mini implants. But so um, if you're looking for that, it's www.minidentalimplantcentersofamerica.com, just abbreviated M-D-I-C-A.com. I'll put it in the description. But I'm doing really well other than the crap with TikTok. It's just summer vacation. The kids are not in school right now. I just found out that other people like in the West and down South maybe that their kids are like already going back to school. I'm like, whoa, that's crazy. My kids are in school all the way through the third week in June and they don't go back until the day after Labor Day in September, which is pretty freaking crazy. So we still are in summer mode here for a while. August is gonna be super busy. I want to be able to come on here and help like answer any questions, concerns that you guys have about anything that you really wanna know. So please leave me your questions down below, things that you'd like to see me address in future videos. Um, otherwise, I mean, I'm just gonna share everything, whatever I can share, I'm gonna be sharing it anyways, but I wanna make sure that I'm actually helping you guys with whatever you're trying to find 
uh, information on. And I definitely would like to remind you that if it doesn't feel right, it's probably not. <laughs> like if you're getting the instinct that something's not right, say something. You're never going to regret actually saying something. You're going to regret if you don't. So that is something to remember. Another one to remember is when you feel good, you do good. So anything we can do for ourselves, even on a day-to-day -day basis, like taking care of ourselves, your, your dental health and teeth, it is so important. And it does make me really sad that not everyone's able to get the help that they need. And that's what really bothers me as an influencer and just as a person in general. I had such a hard time getting my teeth done. I've been waiting for this for so many years and I know that not much has even changed. Like I feel like it's still that hard for most people to get it done. I was only able to get my teeth done because my dentist offered that free consultation that I never would have went to if there was a fee. And then he set up the, the financing. They have like a specialist, his name is Garen, you can request him. He's very knowledgeable about how to get people financing. They find creative ways to get it done. But I was able to get my surgery done two weeks after that free consultation with zero dollars down, no money up front. Had the teeth, you know, pulled, mini implants done, immediate same day, immediate load, snap and dentures the same day. That's quite, that's pretty cool. That's what I wanted, especially because my anxiety can't handle multiple appointments. So I like to keep it as brief as possible. Um, so another question people have asked me a lot is what, what is better than snap indentures or the fixed bridge? And we thought you were super happy with snap indentures. So what happened? I've seen other people get asked this a lot. Like I have a friend who had traditional dentures, was very happy about it. And then she has decided to get standard implants and like the all on four. So the all on four and snap standard implants, it's a little different because it's with the standard implants and a standard implant is actually two pieces. A mini implant is one. I've been meaning to do a little a video sh telling all the differences, um, but I'm not like a dentist. It's just what I know about them. So that's one way to distinguish it. If it's a two-step thing, two pieces, it's a standard. If it's one step, only one piece is a mini. Mini implants are longer, but more narrow. Standard implants are shorter, but wider. So it's the same like level of strength and bone. Um, and the all in four is screw retained. It's not cemented like what mine are. Anyway, I've seen people ask her that too. Like why I thought you were so happy. So the thing is, you know, when you have anything, like we always are working on a way to be happy with what we have, you know, and part of surviving and getting through things is finding the best things about it, making it the best you can. Um, nothing's perfect, but in terms of what's better of course a fully fixed solution is the best honestly if you have the ability to get something fully fixed i would highly recommend it it is much different than my experience with the snap-ins um sometimes you don't really know how much better it can be until you experience it because you get so used to things so quickly and especially someone like me um if i were to focus on everything that had bothered me i would have been depressed i would have lost myself in it so by focusing on the positives and by pushing for the very best fit and going back for my adjustments and being a pain in the ass and making them right and having them remade and just continuously getting back up and going and getting it right until i was happy that's what you have to do sometimes you do have to keep going until you're happy otherwise like no it's you got to and it's really hard I have no regrets at all, but I was definitely, um, you know, curious about the fully fixed system because I did have one before. I was mostly not wanting to do that because I had gotten an abscess above it. That was the reason I got the snap-ins to begin with. But after having snap indentures for about three years, I was, I had developed chronic dry mouth and geographic tongue, angular chelitis where the, the corners of your mouth crack. And let me get a little closer to y'all so you can see these beautiful freaking teeth. But look, they just, they look so alive. I love them. No more cracked corners of my mouth. I feel like my mouth is healthier and happier. They're so smooth and glossy. I've gained so much happy weight from having these teeth because they eat so much better. And I really didn't realize how much the snap indentures, you know, interfered even with tastes of food. Like, it's just going to feel different having acrylic in your mouth versus the porcelain. Porcelain does feel better. It feels more natural. These are super sharp. I also have a mouth guard. I think I showed it in one of my videos. It's just like a plastic tray that you're supposed to wear at night. I usually forget, but I don't grind my teeth, so it's been okay. But I do eat much faster, much quicker, much easier. Nothing's getting stuck underneath the, the bridges. That doesn't happen. If anything, like a little bit of food particles can get kind of like up in the 
way up there on top of the gum material, I guess. But it doesn't ever get up in there. And I was worried about that too. But it's been like seven months and that nothing's happened. I don't really feel like my mouth has shifted. I don't feel like the fit has changed. They don't feel loose at all. They feel freaking perfect and amazing. I wish everybody could have them. I can't say what's going to happen in 10 years or whatever. But for right now, I'm super happy. And unless something breaks, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> like, I'm good. I, I do really like them. Look at those canines. And I also would really like to get some gems. Like get some bling on those freaking canines. That would be so nice. But I also want to say it will take you a while to get used to yourself whenever you get new teeth. And um, it just, it's such a weird, it's weird. Even when I look back at my old videos now, I'm like, oh my God, I just, I don't look right to myself. I feel more comfortable the way I am now. And um and I do think maybe it brought me back to looking more like my natural self, but maybe that's what I needed. I don't know. Either way, I'm very grateful. And I do want to say thank you to everyone here because you've supported me through some of the hardest times of my freaking life. Um, and I want to be able to help you guys getting through whatever you're going through. And um, hopefully we can keep doing that. I'm not going to be spending as much time on TikTok, even if I do get it back, just because it is so, you know, unpredictable and unstable. This isn't the first time it's happened. So... I'm going to be branching out, but we're already on Facebook. I already have this platform, so I'm just going to be using it more. I can go live here too. And I also have my beauty channel, Princess Glitterhead. Um, we got to start using that too, but Facebook is where the lives are going to be. So get ready with me, like daily motivating, get ready with me, motivation lives. I'm going to start doing them on Facebook more regularly, like get up early and just get ready for the day together and just start trying to motivate ourselves, but together. So anybody that wants that, that needs that help and motivation could always replay those lives, watch them anytime. TikTok, you can't replay it. So it's still good. It's a fun app, whatever, but not happy with what they've been doing to me and not happy at all we had a live subscription thing there and so people had paid to be able to see my lives and have that special one-on-one -on -one time or whatever and when they suspend my account i can't fulfill those duties and it's not like tiktok's refunding people i didn't even get paid yet and i'm just sitting here in limbo like this is not cool so if i was gonna do like a paid subscription type of service maybe i would do it somewhere else like here or i could do that i could do that somewhere else but it's meant to be more personal meant to be a smaller group of people that are actually really invested in what's going on and what we're doing when you have a thousand people on a TikTok live and half of them are trolls and bots you know what i mean i'd rather have a smaller group of engaged people i don't need a thousand people with half of them being crazy and trolls like you know very unstable app i'm not impressed i think TikTok should refund every single person that subscribed to my lives they need to i've told them all to cancel the subscription and dispute the charges at this point ask for refunds and literally because they can't get what they paid for i guess but that's the update that's where i'm at i gotta run to the store and get some groceries and if i don't edit this maybe i can get it up tonight um i don't think it needs any we did pretty good i probably was all over the place ask feel free to ask me anything i will put all the description and or everything in the links below all my codes for everything will be down there all the information's there and i hope to see you over there on my facebook let me know if you come over from here to say i'm a glitterhead dental diaries og or something but i love you and i hope you're doing well take care of yourself when you feel good you do good what you feed will grow make it positive okay and i'll see you next time